Where are you from? California. California, nice. What do you like about, what's your favorite thing about California? <laughs> awesome, yeah, me too. <laughs> Silence. I, I'm just, uh, I actually grew up in California. I grew up uh, in uh, kind of a sketchy area, uh, West LA, Beverly Hills, you guys know. <laughs> Some of you might be thinking that doesn't sound that bad, but my high school did not have a golf course. So, so <laughs> Okay. Uh, what's your name, sir? Alex. Alex? Yeah. Um, Alex, for my next few jokes, I'd like to conduct just an audience satisfaction survey for quality assurance. Um, you know, the guys in corporate want to make sure I'm doing my job. Would you mind uh, just answering a few like basic Pierce? questions? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Pierce has had a hard life. I'll answer some questions about Bob. <laughs> well, if, as long as you'll answer some questions, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and don't worry, uh, Alex from California, the survey is totally anonymous. <laughs> I'll just need to collect some basic demographic information first. Um, your race, are you black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Native American, or white, but I don't see race? Yeah, the last one. The last one. Uh, you're, yeah. you're white, but I don't see race? Yeah, that's good. The Olympics must have been pretty confusing, I guess. <laughs> Okay, okay. Up next, the 500 meter dash. Where is it? I don't see it. It's a race. Uh, 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 stop. Do not, do not applaud that. your age range. Are you old enough that record players were once new and exciting, or young enough to exclusively listen to them because you're better than everyone else? <laughs> the first one. Old enough? Uh, okay. Well, so you're like a hundred years old. <laughs> well, you don't look a day over 80, so keep doing what you're doing. You look great. I actually don't fit either of those categories. You need to expand your categories. Oh my gosh, like, I don't believe in labels, like... <laughs> Could you add a third option for me, please? You're gonna love this next one. Uh, your marital status. Are you single, married, or I don't believe in labels, and I'm just exploring life and seeing what happens, Mom? Most definitely married. Married, okay. Is she here tonight? No. Oh, that's crazy. What? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm a three-year drunk guy. I'm just being a big old jerk. Okay, last one. Um, your gender, updated for 2018. Um, yeah, we don't really have time for all that. Let's just move on to the jokes. Um, okay, so first joke. Uh, and do we have any readers in here? Awesome, awesome. I love reading. Uh, the other day I was reading the back of a box of Lucky Charms. <laughs> And the theme was all the different superpowers that Lucky the Leprechaun gets from uh, the different marshmallows, right? So, uh, the shooting star gives him the power of flight, and the purple horseshoe gives him super speed. The red balloon lets him float. Which I thought was like a worse version of an earlier superpower. <laughs> right? Like the clover gives him x-ray vision, but the rainbow gives him 20-20. Like, uh, like that scene in Spider-Man where he wakes up and he doesn't need his glasses, but like that's all that he gets. That's just that's the superhero package. That's good eyesight. Um, but it's not just Lucky Charms where this happens, right? It's like, oh, there goes Batman. He's Gotham's richest man, a skilled crime fighter and a crack detective. And there's his accomplice Robin, a flexible boy. <laughs> Okay, Alex, if you could read that joke on a scale from one to five, one being Bruce Wayne's parents walking out of the opera, to five, uh, Batman and the Joker making a life together. Four. Four? Okay, so like Batman and Superman bonding over their mother's names? Yeah. Not bad, not bad, thank you. Um, so I live with roommates, and uh, sometimes it gets weird. Like one time I accidentally walked in on my roommate, you know, watching uh, Optical Illusions. He's all, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> I can see you looking at a young woman. He said, no, she's an old crone. I was like, that's not better. All right, Alex, if you could break that joke for me. Uh, three. 
Three? Okay, I didn't tell him the scale, but it's from one to three, so another four. Pretty good. Alright, last one. Do you guys think the terrorists look at the clock and go, oh, make a wish, it's 9 11? I hope not. Alex, I'll need you to rate that joke from 9 to 11. I'm just kidding, that's my set. Thank you so much.